Oh, yeah. He has, um, spoke my wife about that. Oh, this is fourth generation, though, but it's alright. I, I usually don't do fourth generation. Um, um, uh, that's fine, I guess. But, here we go. Yep, I got a 3DS. Because I got money for my birthday, and I went to GameStop to buy one, and I got one. So, my video... Okay, I believe this... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I can have this guy. Oh, okay. crap. I set up my scar weight, and I use spikes. And then his wacko use, um, self rock bomb. And I set up another space. Come on. Sorry about this. And then, um, use Brick Brick. Okay, so, sorry you missed that. And then he uses Brick Brick, and then I restore my leftovers. And then he, and then he withdraws his wacko and sends out his um, Blazikin or Blazikin. I like saying bla like Blazikin. Kinda cool, and I set up another spikes, and okay, um, yeah, I got way better at battling now. I, I, all I did last time was just, um, I didn't think, I just did, I just do, and um, now I'm thinking, I, um, I think really hard what to do, and I send out my my yo mama, which is my Gyarados, and um, that's okay that I have uh, stuff rocks there, but that's fine. Um, and then I get, um, uh, I intimidate on Jockey, and then he gets the bulk up, but he gets his attack back, actually, which is really bad, but if I didn't have intimidate and use that, that'd be bad, but that's better. And then he goes for a substitute. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, this is a Wi-Fi Battle 2 Multi-Dark Anger. You can just see that in the title anyway. But, okay. Um, substitute fades, and then... <laughs> super freaking... Restores with his leftovers, and... Um, then he goes for a Flare Blitz. And doesn't take down that much, because, you know, I'm a water type. And... Meh. Okay, he's hit with the recoil, that's fine, and I go for a waterfall. <coughs> and I have a really good moose set on my Gyarados, and my Skarmory also. So, bam, that's done. Okay. Um, and then, kill it, of course. Uh, and then he sends in Kool-Aid, which is an amp for us. And... <laughs> Spice stick digs into its feet, whatever, and then I go for an earthquake, and then I knock that thing out. I believe this is a good escape. I don't know. I, I'm recording this. Well, never mind. Um, earthquake. Because I'm not going to let go, and I'm okay. not going to hurt you. I thought that was going to stay alive, because I haven't seen this video in a long time. Sorry, I shouldn't have watched it before. And then he sends in Pimpin, which is his, uh, Snorlax, and Spike stays into his feet, yay. Um, and I go for a Stone Edge, and I think this kills it, no. Then he goes for a Giga Impact, it misses, and then he goes, and then he restores with his leftovers, and then I go for an Earthquake. <laughs> um. All right. Okay, and then he goes for a gig impact, and he basically kills my Gyarados. I think. Yeah, he does. Okay, and then and then I kill, and then he kills me. And then restores with his leftovers, and 
I, s I send out my Skarmory. And... Put it stones. Dug into them. And, um, I thought you could set up more than three, but... And then I restore my leftovers. Uh, I just wasted a free turn. Wow. And then he goes for an earthquake. I don't even know why. And then I go for a roar. And... And then he swings and hit my knee. And then, um... He gets hurt by the spikes. And then... Th I was so lucky on this. I'm serious. Um, that I, I switched out... We switch out to hit mommy. And then we both have leftovers. Wow. Okay. And I actually don't have Brave Bird on here on my Skarmory. I have Aerial Ace actually, but I think Brave Bird's an egg move. And I don't even know how to get those. I'm serious. Um, he goes for a close combat, which wasn't a really good idea because he lowers his defense. And um, Aerial Ace would take down more. And I believe he dies. I think. Uh, yep. Here. And then he switches into his, uh, what does he switch into? He switches the wacko. Um, okay. I'm gonna go for a roost to restore my HP with my Skarmory. I'm glad I put a roost on him. And I almost restored my full health. Um, and then he goes for a brick break. <laughs> and it's super effective? Why was brick break super effective? It's flying. He is flying. Yeah, and I'm um, steel, and he used it, and it was super effective. Yeah. Okay, that was a glitch because it said it was super effective before, and then you use it again, and it wasn't super effective. That is so weird. I'm serious. I don't even remember that happening, and I'm so lucky he's. Uh, Iron Tail missed. Um, and then I go for the left. And I kill him with an aerial ace. And I restore with my leftovers, yay. Leftovers plus roost, that's really good. So, and then he sends in Kidnapper. Some of you get this name, why he named it Kidnapper. Hmm, I don't even want to go there. And then I go for a roost. <coughs> and then he goes for psychic and not very effective. He has no other choice. It actually took down a lot for a hit now against a steel type, actually. And then I go I restore with my leftovers and I go for an aerial ace. <laughs> yeah, I need a tougher move than Aerial Ace because I'm not really happy with that move. Mm -mm. I always thought this Hypno was annoying because he battled more than once. He beat me once or twice. Once in a double battle, once in a single battle where, battle where he got l lucky. Yeah, it was twice. And then he goes for a psychic. That was close, me. He got, he was, he would, would have been lucky if he got a crit. And then, um, I go for an aerial ace and I finish him. And I kill him. And... <laughs> Okay, and then he switches into Snorlax and 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 I I wanted to kill him with that spice, but okay, and then I finish the Snorlax off with the Nary Lace. Okay, so I defeated um.
multi-dark multi Gengar, so this guy is actually a pretty good battler, and he worked hard for his team, so I hope you enjoyed this battle. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next, in the next Wi-Fi battle, so...